we're going to talk about Bone Thugs, and we're going to talk about their album, Thug Story. So this came out in 2006. There was a four-year gap between Thug World Order and this album, and part of the reason why is because the critical reception for Thug World Order was not that huge. It was really kind of a sleeper in a lot of ways, and I just feel like, you know, the... The, the public was not ready for that type of album. So, what that left is, you know, obviously it's been a little while since I've listened to Thug World Order, but I do know that, you know, I didn't want to force myself to listen to those songs. I knew it was good, but it just remains to be seen how many of these songs actually are, you know, repeat classics. But with this album, I do feel it's pretty strong. I mean, I was thinking that it wasn't going to be, but it surprised me, and I really liked the outcome of it. So this was on an independent release, and I kind of felt that, you know, Easy e he, he's, this is, this album is similar to the underground stuff that Tech 9 and ICP do. I, it makes me think that, you know, Easy probably would have collaborated with Tech 9 had he been alive. It just feels as if that would have happened. And, you know, this album, there's not really a radio song or a glaring huge hit on this release. And it's even less so than Thug World Order. There's not like the home song with Phil Collins or the Get Up and Get It or anything like that. It's this plain album cuts the whole way through. So there's one last member. I, I, I'm pretty sure Busy Bone is not on here, but they do have each, most of the Bone Thugs members have solo releases, which I'll probably wind up doing at some point as well. But, you know, if you want Busy, check out some of his solo stuff, and he actually does come back later down the road. But, so can you smoke to this? The answer is... I think so. A couple real good ones are Fire, What You See, Call Me, most definitely, and Thug Stories, the title track. Now, the production, there are, there's a small handful of songs that didn't work, but, you know, Thug Stories and Stand Not in Our Way, these are really some just it's hard to describe these songs, but they feel, um, I'm trying to think of the right word for it. They feel nocturnal. That's the thing about them. They feel like, you know, things are getting ready to pop off, that sort of thing. I feel like Call Me is one of their normal smoking songs, kind of something you'd hear from Cypress Hill. You know, as far as this album being psychedelic, it's not quite as psychedelic as I would have thought it would have been. So, that's one thing. Usually, Bone Thugs is like that. But, um, you know, She Got Crazy, that's another one. that I think that has, like, bells and that sort of stuff in it. That's good. And Fire is, like, a really thumping track. Uh, that one's... It's kind of different for Bone Thugs, and what you see is kind of in that same category. But all right, the the, the unheard songs, which are songs that you may not have heard, but probably need to check out. There were seven songs out of eleven that I liked. The intro doesn't count, so there's eleven songs on this release, and I like six of them plus one almost song. So I'll list those six. Call Me, Thug Stories, She Got Crazy, Fire, What You See, and Stand Not In Our Way. The Almost Song is This Life. Now, This Life, I really like that as far as an ending song goes. That one, I mean, Bone Thugs, you know, they're all, they're harmonious. You know them for Crossroads and that sort of thing, but the way that they go, it just is so, it's hard to describe the correct word for it. I don't want to say pedestrian, but it's really kind of bummy. 
That's the only thing I can say is it's not bummy as and they're poor, but they just have more kind of a you know rougher mentality for someone that has money. That's just all it is. It, they're the, you know the, back when hoodies were popular and that sort of thing. These guys are probably some of the ones that started that, and it just feels like you know they're just really urban. Uh, that and you can feel that in the, the way that these songs are. They're not like chart worthy like Eminem or you know, they don't have like these bravado that you'd hear from Lil Wayne or Ludacris. They're just more kind of beneath the radar. And that's the way that this whole release feels. I'll talk about a few of these. Like I said, Thug Stories and Stand Not In Our Way Sedan, um, Sound Nocturnal. Fire's a really kind of, you know, get you out of your seat type song. Call Me is probably the best smoking song on here, that one. And This Life are the smoking songs. You're just going to have to check out these seven songs that I picked for you. So the score, because I basically like seven out of 11, I'm going to give this album about a seven and a half out of 10. You know, really, I would give it a higher score, but I mean, basically just a few more probably would have made it perfect. So it's going to get like an eight. And, you know, I do recommend this. The future, I don't know what Bone Thugs has been up to. They said that they are going to drop some music, but they actually have been doing it, that's the thing, and is this album social, I'll give it a five social, just because I don't think every single person heard this, I don't want to say that this is a hardcore release, so, but, you know, you do, it's not as, um, common as Thug World Order, but can it be topped, I think the answer is, Possibly just a few more songs, but this is about an 8 out of 10. So I give this album an 8 and a 5 social.